Hi, my name is Kevin Keenahan from Corec, and what I'm going to do is just show you how easy it is to bring in an IFC model straight into Trimble Access. So here I just created a project and I called it Corec IFC. So I'll open that up and I created a new job. So I literally clicked new and give it a name called IFC Corec. So once I have that done, I can go straight into the properties of the job. So you can see here that I have a scale of 1, so if I want to use the SX10 for scanning and total station work, I can go into Active Map here. So I can click on my Active Map and I have a model here called Coric IFC. So like before, I can tick it once just to see it, and if I tick it twice, it becomes activated. And the little play arrow here is layers, so I can uh, make layers isolated, turn them on and off. Uh, make them active or non-active so I have just one layer in here okay so I'm just gonna accept that and accept the job and then once I'm happy with all that's done I'm gonna open up and there we go there's my 3d model there okay so at the minute it's in wireframe so like before I can move it around here I can zoom in and zoom out so holding down the zoom I can zoom in and zoom out and I also can rotate it around so like easy as that I can actually make it solid so if I go into the eye and into the settings down here you can see the IFC display so at the minute it's wireframe but I can change that to solid and I leave it at 100% and uh, you can see that it's gone into solid so I just did a quick uh, logo here for Corex so you can see that it's in full solid state so if I wanted to start creating points straight away on the model I can zoom in into the K here. I can just go into my select. I can instantly start creating the points here. And then I can hit review and it gives me the three points. So one, two, three, and four. I can go into details and give them a different code. So I'm going to call this code IFC K. Go next. And it says accept the changes. I will, yeah. And then the same thing again. I can just hit the over arrow here. I use a Coric library if I wanted and just pick um, from the library so I just call this KIFC also enter and accept okay so now I have two KIFC codes so what I can do is select on that and then accept and then I can escape and just say I want to ready to set out one of these points I can click on one and just instantly go stake out and I'm going to stake out point number one so I'm going to select that I'm going to dial up to my receiver and then it starts instantly surveying and then from there I can go in and start and survey the points so I'll put in my antenna height here and start and then I'm off I'm literally away and I can stake out the point immediately okay also when I've actually done points done you'll notice that there's a up arrow here and an options so in options I can go in and um, I can see the display here so direction of flow, the surfaces, um, the design name, so staked out codes. I can also hit the up arrow here and go into offset straight away. So I can pick a horizontal offset, um, slope from a point, key in a point, key in a slope. I can also hold down on the screen and clear all the selection as well. So if I clear all the selection, pick one point, hold down on it, and now go stake out that point in instead. It tells me there's a design elevation of 790 here. I can hit the play button and say that's been changed to 100.9 and enter that and now it gives me a new design elevation. I also can hold down on the screen and review the point. So it tells me there so I can change the code. I can also hold down on the screen, clear the selections. I can highlight loads of points and hold down on the screen and do a list of the selections and say no I only want these three or this one here and press OK and then instantly into stake um, and that's how uh, easy and quick you can put in an IFC model into um, Trimble Access 2018.20 okay thank you bye